Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. Hola, I'm Ralph, behind the camera. And welcome to Cavalcade of Food. And today, Ralph, we are going to take a little vintage appliance tour and look at kitchen timers. What is a kitchen timer? A kitchen timer is something that helps you keep time. Like a metronome? Well, <laughs> not quite, but the idea of, um, you know, how long something is cooking is important. And there was a time, we take it for granted now, Ralph, that like, see, let me see this range. It has a clock on it. Actually, all of these ranges have a clock. We're on in the it. range room. We are in the range we room. We passed the collection and now we're in the range room. But there was a time that kitchens didn't have clocks and built in timers. Oh, so timers and were important. You, they were very important and they're still important because you maybe didn't have a clock on your stove. And if something needed to bake for, say, 35 minutes, well, you can either watch a clock, keep an eye on it, or you could just set a timer for 35 minutes that'll ding or buzz or ring or make some sort of sound to tell you, hey, get it out of the oven. Isn't that interesting that we take it for granted that, you know, timers are built in now and everybody has a, a device or some sort that has a clock or, or a yeah, timer or, built in. You know, I mean, now our phones right. all have but timers. Back but then, it was now, very important. I can see that now. Yes. And one of our our viewers. longtime viewers and food friends, our food friend Mark, he uh, sent me an email. It was a few months ago already. He was downsizing and he wanted to know if I would like to have his collection of kit vintage kitchen timers. Wow. And I'm like, I would love that because frankly, I had a few, but I didn't have that many. And so thank you, Mark, so oh, much. So and, these are from his collection. And a lot of these, uh, many of these are from his collection, Beautiful. probably most of them. Um, and it is something I point out when, uh, uh, you know, I'm I'm showing things to people, but I wanted I wanted to us to take a closer look at some of these because they're beauty. They're just so beautiful. First of all, look at this Art Deco beauty. That's a um, cool one. This one is from uh, from Mark, and I'm trying to see if there's any marking on it in terms of the manufacturer. Um, but you know, most of these are mechanical. Yes. Hear that? Yeah. Don't, don't put that. I wonder if you had don't any trouble. Don't put that in your suitcase. Well, I was wondering if you had any trouble mailing these oh. to you because if anybody heard it ticking in, you, in the mail, they might get a little worried. Isn't that a long ring? But that's beautiful. Yeah, that's a beautiful And of course, you know, ring. you can tell this is probably from the 30s. Based on um, the style. Yeah, the late 20s or early 30s based on the style. These all here are ceramic. They're actually porcelain, and in a lot of cases, these actually came with your stove. Wow. And the reason they're ceramic, too, is they're heat proof. So, you know, those old ovens, boy, they got hot they on the outside. They kicked out the heat. Uh, anything plastic, and by the way, they did, when this was made, they hadn't really perfected plastic that well anyways. The plastic would have never survived, but this one... Um, it says mark time. I don't know if you can see it. Mark time here, and you'd set it. Again, these are all mechanical. And then a bell would go off, but just beautiful. Look at this one. Very Art Deco. Again, I'm looking for... This is made by the Lux Clock Manufacturing Company. Uh, I'm trying to make out where they are located. Connecticut, it looks like. Anyways, Lux still makes kitchen timers. Uh, and this one's probably, again, from the 20s or 30s. That's a single ding. ding. Okay, nice and loud, though. That's what you call a single dinger. Uh, here we've got another ceramic. Oh, my goodness. Look okay. At that, look at that bell. Yeah, look at that bell. And here's the front. 
This one also says Mark Time. It's probably made by the same company that made that one. And Mark, if you're watching and you know what who manufactured these, please share. Beautiful porcelain. What a, now, well, go ahead. Now here's one I that say, I... What about this number? <laughs> well, this number I had. This is a from the, my collection. You can see, you're, oh, somebody dropped it. You're bringing this, down his collection. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's hardly worthy to be with no, Mark's it's beautiful cool. things. But, it's you cool. know, I like things that show a little wear and tear, kind of like me. Yeah, that it's been, you know, around the block. And it's been used, well, like this. I'm trying to say it nice. This has been used <laughs> lovingly. Lovingly uh, used. It dropped. Somebody glued it back together. Hey, it still works. You hear that? Can we hear that? That sounds like, remember when you used to pull into the gas station? Yes. And you'd drive over that hose? Young right. people don't even know what the heck we're talking about. Yeah. And you'd, you'd make that bell sound. Can we hear the big bell on that one that we saw? That, Which one? Um, I think it was this one. Remember, it had that big bell in the back? Yeah, that. Let's hear that. But see, oh. they all have a big bell in the back. Okay. But it just depends how they're sort of... The, the tone, how the bells are set up. Now here's one. This one is made out of metal. Heavy duty. Um, on the back it is, it says, Made of Honor. Now I happen to know that Made of Honor was sold at Sears Roebuck. Okay? But on the back it says Lux Clock Manufacturing, Materbury, Connecticut. So that's where Lux was located. Might still be for all I know. I'll call that one the Iron Maiden of Honor. Yes, and I'm trying to see if we can get a cluck. I think we got this one I'm going to have to take to Santa's workshop um, and see. I'm not getting a good ding off of that, but I love how it looks. Yeah, yeah, it's very cool. Now here's one made by Presto. Presto Timer. How about that? I just look, I love how that yeah. looks. Look, here's the side view. And this is made by Presto, which also made and still makes small appliances, electric skillets, coffee pots, things like Popcorn that. Popcorn poppers? Popcorn poppers. It says, turn past five and then set to time. Hmm. National Presto Industries, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Um, the reason you need to turn it past five is because these work with a spring mm. and if you don't turn it far enough the spring doesn't get wound and so it doesn't keep the right time oh that's nice that's huh? very nice then over here uh, I think most people are familiar with the brand Echo E-K-C-O Echo products made in USA cooking timer tells you the same thing turn pointer past five then set for time so this was another one from Mark I just love it. Very, very industrial. Okay. All the styles are so different yes. and cool. Now here's one that I had. Oh, that's not bad. This is made by Mero, which again, uh, an aluminum company. They, make, they made coffee pots and other small appliances. They made pots and pans and cookware. They still do. They make pressure cookers. And this one is, again, you know, these were very important. And, you know, you could set it for 20 minutes, take it with you, uh, and know when it goes off that that cake is ready to come out of the oven. Let me feel how heavy it is. Not too bad. That one's not too bad. It's made out of aluminum. It's not as heavy as some of these yeah. ceramic numbers. But, you know, when recipe books started to become popular, too, there were always instructions about how long to bake something or you know whip something and so that that was important that people have timers so that they absolutely could respond to these instructions in the recipe book correctly and really started to become standardized and, you know people would say cook until done well what does that mean cook well, until dawn done oh, uh, but but the um uh the idea was is that well that means something different for everybody so yes. they said no Bake for 25 minutes. Okay, that I understood. And here you can, you know, get your 25 minutes on. Now here's another Miro, Miromatic. This one is from Mark's collection. And it looks like a clock, doesn't it? Kind of yeah, like a... Yeah, yeah. And I was going to mention this other one that we just looked at. It looks almost like something you'd see on a boat, like a compass. Oh, kind of does look nautical. Nautical, yeah. Um, and the cool thing about this one 
from Mark's collection. Oh. Look, here's the original box that it came in. So even though it was a Maromatic, it was still made by the Lux Clock Manufacturing Company. I think Lux just had the the market on timers. Now here, this is the classic. It's blue. They still make this. You often see them in white. This is the classic Lux timer. This shape. I've never seen a blue one like that. And That's cool. And again, it goes to an hour. I think most of these go to an hour. And it just ticks away. Oh, like an now alarm clock. that's a long ring. That's like an alarm clock. Okay, so you have short rings and long rings. That's a long ring timer. In case you're out in the backyard hanging the laundry on right. the line or out in the field picking some corn. Now here's one that I had. This even says long ring. Boy, that's talking. Oh, <laughs> <Whoa>, my gosh. <laughs> Uh, I think you broke it. No. We're just letting... This is... There. Long ring West Clocks. So, you know, West Clocks is a popular maker of... Clocks. Clocks. But they also made a timer. This one is kind of cool. I think it's from the 70s. Oh, and it sits like that? And it sits like that, see? Oh. And then and then it goes, it turns... Very 70s it, with the color it, and the modern... Yeah. Nice. Pretty long ring on that. Mm-hmm. Hello. And then oh, here's another one. This one I had. This is, um, I don't know who made this. Oh, wait. Looks very 70s and 60s with the flower pattern. Mark time. So, I don't know. Yeah, with that little flower power. But anyways. But see, it sort of sits at a diagonal. Yeah, like that's that. different. Yeah, look at this. I'm going to show our friends. Fourth floor. Here. Stationary. Men's furnishings. Didn't that sound like an elevator? Kitchen timers. All these sounds that are lost forever. Um, like a dial tone. Yeah. But anyway. Like a busy signal. I just wanted to, one, thank Mark for sharing these with me and share them with all of our food friends um, because they are an important part of cooking history and cooking culture. And... You know, if you don't have one on your stove, uh, then everybody who cooks and bakes, especially, uses some kind of a timer all the time. That's right. Uh, so they are important. And you can still pick them up at resale shops and flea oh, markets, yeah. and they're not, not expensive. So yeah, if but, you uh, but get inspired, fun. you can see just the the variety of of um, designs over the years. Yeah. Anyways, these are great. I love them all. And uh, they're fun to display with a lot of the other little um, accoutrement that we have here uh, for cooking. But we've got to get to some of this other stuff one of these days. People always like to see oh, the many odds and ends of the Cavalcade collection, collection here. But I'll say thank you, Ralph, uh, for uh, your camera work. And remind our friends uh, to check out the website at cavalcadeoffood.com. And we, uh, if you're so inclined, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications. Yes. Does it ding like that when they hit the bell? I don't think it does. No, but, but that, it is shaped like a bell. Yeah, and it's really just an eye kind of. Okay, so <laughs> we're we're trying to. Uh, pick up where we left off. Our battery just died. Kaput. Uh, kaput. Okay. Uh, luckily, I had a spare. So I think I was telling our friends, Ralph, the website is cavalcadeoffood.com. Subscribe, like, share if you're so inclined. We're just glad uh, that you're with us. Mark, thanks again for sharing your vint cool vintage kitchen yes, timers. Yes, thank you. They were lovely to see and took us back in time. Yep. And don't forget to comment if you want to say something about uh, what you're seeing. Let us know. It's always good to interact. Absolutely. And so we hope everyone's doing well, and we'll look forward to seeing you again real soon right here on Cavalcade of Food. Bye, everybody.